to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. The Father of Spirits, the doer of wonders, we give you the praise, we give you the praise. From eternity to eternity, you are God. And we worship, we worship, we bless you. Bless him in the spirit for the mighty things that he will be doing tonight. Father, we honor you. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we honor you. Father, we give you the praise. Hallelujah. Father, my portion tonight, let it be delivered unto me. Lift your voice and pray. My portion tonight. God is a God of portions my portion tonight i receive by faith my portion tonight my portion tonight i receive by faith I receive my portion in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Hallelujah. Father, visit us tonight in the name of Jesus. You call this a miracle service, let it answer to its name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If your name is Stephen and we say Stephen and you don't answer, it tells us something is wrong with you. The Bible says, whatsoever Adam called it, that was the name thereof. So if God says it's your season of lifting and you call it by faith, it should answer. If God says this is your season of open doors, the same way if I call you and I say come, you come. Even the dead came. When he said Lazarus, he came forth let me speak to you in the name of jesus that everything that must come into your life tonight there is no power in existence that will stop it from coming in the name of jesus christ i believe in the gospel of power i truly believe in the power of the holy spirit christianity is just a discussion of fables without the power of the holy spirit the difference is the power of God. Hallelujah. We need the power of God, especially over the issues that plague men in today's world. Enough of discussions. We need the power of God to heal, to deliver, to change lives. We need the power of God. We need the power of God. We will keep giving vain explanations until the power of God is introduced. Pray one prayer. Father, let your power be revealed in and through my life tonight. Please be serious. Pray. Whether you are outside, you are following online, let your power be revealed in my life. You are a man of God. Pray an encounter with power tonight. 
let your power be revealed in and through my life you came here in need of a touch from god there's no distance in the spirit connecting from your home connecting online connecting by way of television let your power be revealed in my life retreat in the name in of that Jesus retreat Christ. don't put your hand in your pocket lie on the ground flat carry your certificate carry your bible carry your ministry csc document and say lord i hand everything over to you if you do not help me i don't know what tendencies are in my heart carry your business your company whatever it is your accolades and cry before god and he will come to you and say because you have shown me that your heart is right let's go and i'm telling you it will look like you held a charm in one month god can open doors for you in a way that will surprise you i know what i am saying has someone learned anything so whilst you are seated before i just wrap up and touch on the remaining and then we'll pray wherever you are you're going to lay your hand as, on your chest as a point of contact and cry before the God of heaven. Lord, I am not ashamed. Check my heart. You want to kneel down? You want to stand? Please. It's, it's a moment of genuine repentance and soul searching. Cry before the Lord. I lay it all down again To hear you say that I'm your friend Help me find the way Bring me back to you Tendency, so oh God, the arm of the Lord is not too short to open up doors or to lift you in business, in politics, in ministry. It is a state of your heart that circumcision. Someone is praying, nothing to be ashamed of. Someone is praying. Let it be from the depth of your heart. This I know about God. Take my heart and mold it. Take my mind transform me will you take my will conform me to your to your hold on take my heart and hold me take my mind 
me teach you a very simple song. You have my everything. You have my everything. You have my everything. You have my everything. Yes, your part. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You have my everything. Anoint my everything. Change my everything. I release my everything. You have my everything. Say, take all of me. All of me, Lord. Take all of me. You're not wasting your time. I'm giving you a piece of my secret place. It is not what you do once in a while. It's how you live. Search my heart, oh God, and try my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me. Lead me to the way everlasting. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, praise the name of the Lord. Please bring out three people for me right now. I just saw fire just moving and because of this prayer of brokenness there is an anointing particularly one of them that that grace is an evangelistic dimension but it does not look like it yet because you are still in the place of prayer three of them I'm stretching my hands now the power of God will come on them one of them will even start running please hold them and bring them out here as I share with you the other principles in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God Alisha lega brantaski da barakusia, shega de bakatusia tavalatusia. I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am mandan before your glorious majesty. I truly cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and lords. Of lords, you are the King of kings. You are the Lord. Our Lord, your glorious majesty. Yabone Naka, Sujana Nina, Sarki Salama, Sarki Aljana. hallelujah I'm seeing the number seven and I'm seeing a mantle for restoration is coming on seven people bring bring them out too. seven for one of them several things have gone wrong in your life and family you are not directly ministry but I'm seeing this anointing in the name of Jesus wherever you are I speak by the Spirit of God please help our mother in the name of Jesus Christ help that woman please 
in the name of Jesus the son of the living God restoration may that mantle come upon you you are my hiding place you always fill my heart with songs of deliverance whenever i am afraid i will trust in you i will trust in you let the weak say I am strong in the strength. Hallelujah. Who is Abiodun? I'm hearing the name Abiodun. Is there someone carrying that name? Abiodun. Abiodun. The Abiodun I'm seeing is wearing a black suit. Is there someone like that? Abiodun. You are wearing a suit. What's your name, sir? Just verify first. What's your name, sir? Abiodu. You, you're a member here? No, sir. You came for this meeting. You yes, believe sir. in Jesus? Yes, what sir. do you do? I'm, I'm just working on my own. I'm going to pray for you. You believe that God can lift you? The Lord is bringing restoration to your life. I stretch my hands over you and in the name of Jesus, I command this wicked spirit that has tied you down and tied your destiny down to give way now forever in the name of jesus christ by the power that raised christ from the dead my friend look at me shout jesus as loud as you can i just saw an anointing take that grace now in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same again madam the lord is saying i should tell you i don't know who this woman is but in the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying he is restoring. The month of April is your month. God is bringing strange restoration, even by the Spirit of God. Is there someone called Caleb? I'm hearing a name, Caleb. 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 There is a woman here. The name of your son is Caleb. Who is that? Caleb. Huh? Can, can you help us with the mic? Oh, you came here because of Caleb. Is it technical help? Jesus. Huh? Hmm. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. For you are highly lifted up for some God. You are highly lifted up. Abala shalagadabaya. Mama, please stand up. Are you a member of this church? You can, what's wrong with Caleb? Caleb used to be very, very devoted to God. I sent him to Canada. I don't understand what's happening to his face. As I speak to you, he has blocked my line. You see, my dear people, hear me. There is no limit. One communication of the prophetic with balance is about to save this woman and save her child right now. Now, but hear me. This is the warning because many of us when god begins to use us like this back to my prior discussion i am a man of god apostle joshua selman it is that pride and and lack of brokenness that stops god from advancing with his grace and gift upon our lives there is nothing extraordinarily i'm doing here you see look at this woman how can i stand here and come and sit and know that a woman is suffering with a now imagine this woman came for a minister's conference and she believed that she came for her son how in the world can i know that her son is in canada i've never met you i don't even know who this woman is man of god this is how far god can take you when you become broken enough 
this has nothing to do with being an apostle or prophet or whatever no it is how far god is willing to solve the problems of people now let me ask you a question is jesus glorified in this process because if this same woman comes with that her son caleb and holds him that boy is in canada mama is here but you can see her crying because of the pain this is what should happen in church that people should come and know that they met jesus jesus glorified more than a man of god being glorified question how do you have empty pews under this condition mama in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god you will never forget this conference for what god will do i release that grace upon you out the spirit that is at work in caleb that will not allow him to serve god by the rod of a higher priesthood i decree and declare right now here at this conference we declare restoration for caleb hallelujah ik i think your name is ik now but they call you ik ik for short i have just a few minutes is there someone like that ik where are you you love jesus god is going to use you but there is a lot of work that god needs to do with you my friend huh don't be embarrassed there eh? this is a minister's conference our father here too your son is ik no problem i'll pray with you that's all right please just leave them i want to pray for you where are you coming from sir huh Ujota. Ujota. no i mean state of origin i want to pray for you that everything that does not name the name of christ tying down your destiny must give way daddy please place your hand on your chest i'm seeing a thermometer go up and down high blood pressure this is bp is that true huh yes sir i want to pray for you it's going down now there is a name above every other name look at our father at this age this man is crying ah from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same your name is to be adored daddy please do not cry honestly i feel so touched someone please help this man with in the name of jesus i pray for you sir standing in faith with the grace upon the man of god and i declare first for your bp high blood pressure goes down now are we agreeing with this man it goes down now and i pray for your son ik in the name of jesus christ by the power that raised christ from the dead let there be your desire where is he what does he do he's working with he's working at home he's working with a company i'm seeing god that gentleman is going to be a big businessman you see yes. i don't know but i'm seeing the name onicha you see that name onicha god is going to connect him to someone within that place let him not fight it when it happens there is a hand of god that has gone before him in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead let it be so in jesus name i pray please sit down in one minute huh? okay this gentleman let me pray for you you see you are as good as your friends you are as born again as your friends if you are born again and your friends are not very serious it will eventually affect you are we together i'm speaking in parables you hear what i'm saying my friend don't be there's no such thing as we're classmates we grew up together you must get to a point in your life where anybody who is not pro kingdom in your life they must remain at the outer court you must culture your relationships if you intend to be serious with god father help your son in the name of jesus christ 
let that grace rest upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let that grace rest upon you I'm hearing the cry of a baby I'm hearing the cry of a baby the cry of a baby is there someone here who is trusting God for the fruit of the womb I'm hearing the cry of a baby this is what I'm hearing in my ears look at this help her my God you will be surprised to see what the God of heaven Shalina haske de branda gaduzi atala kusi aprahasta. All of you who are coming, except if you are standing for someone, but please make sure you are married. Otherwise, go back to your seat. Praise the name of the Lord. You are trusting God for a baby, Madam. Shout Jesus. My sister look at me lift your hands shout the name jesus just do what i'm asking you to do in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare that demon my friend look at me this man take that grace in the name of jesus i correct what the doctors have told you is stopping fruitfulness in the name of jesus christ i want you to believe in the power that is in the name of jesus the lord will surprise you take your eyes away from the medical report and trust the lord just believe what i'm asking you to do my sister this lady i'm seeing fire coming on you this is what i'm seeing now and i'm seeing something being removed from your stomach now in the name of jesus i decree and declare let that demonic thing leave you now i want to pray for all of you because i had the cry of a baby the power of god will come upon you as i pray for you father every legal access that the devil has over their fruitfulness that will not allow you to enjoy the blessings of fruitfulness right now by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree and declare release them now 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 release them now now release them now in the name of jesus the son of the living god i declare to you like eli spoke over hannah according to the time of life in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god according to the time of life let there be fruitfulness for you now help this man help this man in the name of jesus fruitfulness now your name is to be hallowed. I declare to you, as you have come out, you will come out again, but this time you will not be alone. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mama, that woman there. Is it for yourself or for someone else? Ah? Huh? This woman. For my daughter. What where is she? She's in Delta State. Mama, I will pray with you, but lay hand on your own stomach. The miracle is for you first. There is something God wants to take out of your stomach. Is that true? Huh? Yes, sir. Have you gone to the hospital for it? Yes, I will pray with you. In the name of Jesus, let her go now. Release mama now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Even before I pray for your daughter, I'm praying for you. They will not tell you something is growing in your stomach that requires surgery. I command it to go now. Be released right now. And we pray for your daughter. Even as you have stood in for her, let there be supernatural correction right now in jesus name i pray within your body 
that is not of God any planting it must leave right now and if you are standing for someone I know there are people watching in hospitals there are people watching by sick beds I want you to believe take your eyes away from the infirmity and pray my body my soul my spirit breathe on me take my body my soul my spirit breathe upon that fibroid breathe upon that lump breathe upon that genotype issue breathe upon that bone condition breathe upon HIV Breathe upon cancer. Breathe upon rheumatoid arthritis. Breathe upon any and all cardiovascular issues. Breathe upon weakness in body. Breathe upon eye conditions. Breathe upon ear conditions. Breathe upon reproductive issues. Breathe upon digestive issues. Breathe upon respiratory issues. Breathe upon neurological issues. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please hear me. I am going to pray. There are so many people outside. And all the overflows and thousands more following from across the globe give Jesus a chance Christ is about to be revealed as the power of God I believe in miracles I truly believe in miracles and right now I want to pray for you now listen don't start calculating and asking how will it happen just like that Mary asked that question already how shall these things be seen that I know not a man? He said the power of the highest. So the power of the highest is about to overshadow you. And listen. Listen. How the Holy Spirit got to the womb of Mary. Leave that to the intelligence of God. That is the same way his power. He does not need to open you with a surgical knife. He can get to your systems, your organs and correct things what is your own assignment to believe in jesus as the healer to believe in his servant as the vessel and to take steps of faith so when i pray for you i want you to believe whether or not i mention your case you must believe from the depth of your heart and i'm going to ask you to check yourself and do what you could not do the moment you check yourself i'll be giving you a chance for those who have been healed everywhere inside and outside the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you if and when i ask you to come out i want you to come out don't be afraid the moment you find out that you can do now what you could not do before believe in jesus take your eyes away from the sickness i learned this from benny Hinn. he said in in all his years of crusading around the globe he found out that people who were focused on their infirmities would hardly get healed and so worship helps us to focus on jesus and you take your eyes away from the bodily condition and the moment you look at jesus you are changed into that which you are seeing place your hand now as an act of faith everywhere you are trusting god for a miracle you can stand in for someone i see people following 
from across the globe some of you are lifting pictures of loved ones some of you are standing in for families remember there are whole families with all kinds of conditions give jesus a chance just help those under the anointing i'm about to pray right now and i'm praying in the name of jesus so you can trust answers to this prayer lay your hands everywhere if it's your head lay your hands on your head if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and if you're fine and whole and there's nothing wrong with you you can stand in for someone absolutely the centurion stood in for his child majesty just keep your hand there your majesty your grace has found me just as i am empty-handed but alive in your hands your majesty majesty forever i am changed by your love in the presence keep those hands there now you do mighty things you do glorious things the healing power of jesus is flowing you're a faithful god awesome is your name you do mighty things you do glorious things shabala sabrande gebaratushka libra hasia one more time you do mighty things you do such healing streams in this place right now now in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living god the one exalted today as lord and christ I rebuke the root cause of every infirmity I rebuke the root cause of every disease I rebuke the root cause of every plague in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit help those under the anointing every spirit of infirmity every devil behind medical conditions blindness deafness dumbness blood conditions allergies in the name of jesus and by the power that raised christ from the dead i banish you from these bodies right now in jesus name now i decree and declare in the name of jesus be healed now 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 from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet I bring you the life and power of Jesus be made whole right now in Jesus name every blind eye partial blindness or complete blindness you could not see well in the name of Jesus I command begin to see now every deaf ear your left ear or your right ear I declare the ears open right now in Jesus name every kind of allergy every kind of allergy around your body your skin I declare by the power that raised Christ be healed now every growth in your body any part of your body at all 
I decree and declare be healed now the Lord is ministering to me my God I'm hearing help that gentleman I'm hearing the word colon cancer colon cancer be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ and I'm seeing someone follow this meeting you are following from Federal Medical Center here in Abuja the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is healing someone of severe bleeding in the gum you have severe bleeding your gum the moment you go to brush you just find out that blood starts gushing out right now the help them please the power of God is touching you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ back pain the Lord is healing back pain in the name of Jesus everyone on wheelchair everyone on crutches using any kind of aid life to your limbs right now I declare begin to walk in the name of Jesus everyone plagued by stroke partial paralysis and stroke probably they carried you in here in the name of Jesus life to your body rise up and walk right now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you I don't know if, is that you lost your sense of smell or you can't smell completely in the name of Jesus let that sense be restored now I've seen God minister this case before that is showing me you are you are a young lady you are not pregnant yet you are lactating you are producing breast milk in the name of Jesus the power of God is coming upon you right now and I declare be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now the Lord is healing a condition I'm seeing a vision and I'm seeing PID this is what I'm seeing it whatever that means in the name of Jesus I decree and declare be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now now the Lord is showing me a very interesting condition here there is a woman I'm not a doctor um, and, and of course it's not everything we say here there are people with different from different um, age ranges and all of that and then we're on air but there is something in your system that does not allow the seed to get to you to be pregnant I see that that seed dies even before it gets there because of a a condition that you have right now the power of God I don't know where that person is right now the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you can see the testimony of our dear sister who came here 22 months of carrying a child 22 months anything in your body that is not the planting of the Lord I flush it out right now now listen we are still praying it is it is still I'm still ministering healing but I'm seeing the power of God moving away I'm seeing at least this is at least 21 people from what I'm seeing there are objects that move physically you feel it in your body it begins to move sometimes from your leg down to various parts of your body this is not like you are dreaming physically you feel things moving the power of God is coming upon you right now at least 21 people be healed in the name of Jesus there is a gentleman here you came here as a stammerer you will marvel and wonder right now that stammering stops now that stammering stops now now I don't know I'm seeing someone I don't know if he's in this you know this vicinity but you have like a tumor in your brain a tumor that means something is growing that is, is a tumor like it's, it's cancerous in your brain I don't know if you are following online but in the name of Jesus I want you to release your faith I bring you life be healed now be healed now I'm seeing someone in the overflow outside 
the overflow outside you're beginning to have symptoms it's like urinary problems but it's not really a urinary, urinary problem from what god is revealing to me this is the early stage of prostrate prostrates that prostrate cancer like it happens to men this is what god is telling me outside in the name of jesus be healed now be healed now be healed now i'm seeing a woman that takes in you get you actually get pregnant but it never crosses the third month by the third month a spirit comes to you you will have a dream and see either a human being or an animal chasing you or you will see yourself bleeding and you wake up physically bleeding help them please in the name of jesus christ i command that devil to let you go now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a man you go to ease yourself and you're urinating blood i don't know what that condition is but you're urinating blood in the name of jesus right now as i'm praying for you may the power of god touch you now There's someone you've been feeling something on your throat is as if um you know how you swallow something and it does not go down and it remains there it's been stuck for a long time in fact you are considering going to go and see the doctor so that they will check it maybe it's something that they need to take away right now as i'm praying the power of god is touching you in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing at least two people with this condition my god the lord is really healing i'm seeing several cases i'm seeing you wake up in the night and sit just sit on your bed you don't sleep for more than three hours no matter how long there is a spirit you can't once you wake up you can't go back to sleep again this thing has deteriorated your health i don't know who that person is in the name of jesus be healed now that person is at the back the back of this auditorium this is what i'm saying that whoever that person is there is a spirit you are at the back of this auditorium may the lord bring you healing now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing someone my goodness whatever you eat you have to throw it out throw it up like you know how children eat and 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 throw up there's someone like that you are unable in fact you are being concerned that you are losing weight it's not like you are you are losing weight because you eat and then you just feel like you need to throw up something and you throw up what you have eaten it's a demonic condition in the name of jesus be healed now be healed now i'm seeing a lady this thing has brought shame for you a part you had a dream and from that dream it's like they shaved you know how you go to the barbing saloon and they shave part of your is it your head or something like that there's someone you had that and from that time your hair does not grow again this is a very very demonic thing right now whoever you are fire is coming on that person now nose bleeding there's this thing they call nose bleeding that you just stand i'm seeing a gentleman you even wake up in the morning sometimes and you see blood your nose is bleeding you've gone to the hospital they treated you they gave you drugs but it seems like it's not gone right now the power of god is touching you be healed in the name of jesus christ be healed in the name of jesus christ now i'm seeing someone your 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 tie is it a surgery it's like they had a surgery and of course respectfully speaking i don't know if it's that it was not done well but it looks like something is still broken there i'm seeing like the bone the bone here is still broken you are still feeling the pain it's not like you cannot walk but there is something broken there i declare healing right now now whether i mention your case or not be healed in jesus name be healed in Jesus name we change medical conditions right now 
in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus be healed in Jesus name hallelujah now there is a woman sorry to have to describe the condition I'm seeing that your left breast started growing mysteriously like something is it looks like a lump or some you noticed it you are at the back this is a demonic thing you have not shared this thing with anybody I'm seeing this is a demonic thing it looks like a lump but if we don't pray against it they will tell you that you need to go for surgery because I'm seeing that this the devil wants to put cancer in your body we cause that spirit now hallelujah hmm. I'm watching a vision right now and I'm seeing someone pick like a cup of water to drink but that cup of water you see it was not ordinary water from the day you drank it something started happening to your teeth it's like you are losing your teeth one by one you've extracted some now and it looks like it's, it's like it's rotting I don't know it's, it's a condition you are feeling is literally it's as if you can pull out your teeth i don't know who that person is by the power that raised christ from the dead be healed now now any health pattern running through families whether hepatitis my god whether hiv headache I'm going to mention a condition right now and when I mention that condition the power of God will start coming on a few people please don't be embarrassed this is a family I'm seeing symptoms of what we call obesity you don't have to be fat you are carrying that thing within you the power of God is setting you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ inside outside this is at least seven people is obey you know what obesity is that you you begin to get uh, you know ridiculously fat without controlling it whether you eat or not in the name of Jesus I rebuke that demonic thing from your blood be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name there's a lady right now as I'm speaking to you you came here with terrible abdominal pain like abdominal pain it looks like there's fire all around your stomach you're going to feel that thing one more time and then it leaves you will never feel it again i bring you healing right now in jesus name now i believe that several miracles have happened here not just the ones that i i i you know i declared by the word of knowledge there are several people who have been healed this is what i want you to do we're going to hurry up I'm going to ask you to check yourself and the moment you check yourself already miracles are happening I will ask you to quickly please those who are outside all of the overflows and then those for who the are Bible says a broken can... spirit can dry the bones from the realm of the spirit and it can affect you are we together now it says say to those who are of a broken heart do not be afraid he will come and save you so you are going to pray for healing complete holistic healing for some of you maybe healing in your body you will still pray some of you god has begun the miracle it's yet to be perfected you are going to pray for perfection of healing for some of you is your mind your emotions have been so wrecked by all the things that have happened in your life maybe pains maybe disappointments several things have happened in your mind and you need to be free you need to be completely healed there are others who are saying there are other aspects of my life I'm coming to finances but even finances you can receive healing in your finances the same way your body is sick your finances can be sick your career can be sick lift your voice and command healing go ahead go ahead and declare healing by the power of the Holy Spirit I declare healing healing of my body I declare healing healing of my mind I declare healing healing in my job I declare healing healing in my emotions is someone praying remember you not the former things nor consider the things of old healing from disappointments healing from pain healing from betrayals healing from backstabbings healing from losses 
healing from bereavement go ahead and pray i decree and declare supernatural healing by the power of the holy spirit i'm tired of carrying a backlog of pain i declare that i'm healed finally by the power of the holy spirit the sun has set me free i am free indeed the sun has set me free i am free indeed in the name of jesus christ hallelujah third prayer i want you to pray this with aggression and pray this with vigor stagnation to be stagnated means to be kept in one place are we together yes stagnation is very dangerous because the bible says the path of a just is as a shining light that moves that shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day you are going to decree and declare every force responsible for stagnation many of you what you are praying right now is what you wrote here i like you to pray stagnation in ministry stagnation in business stagnation in family stagnation over your career lift your voice and repeat that spirit command advancement over your life command advancement are you praying you came for miracle service inside outside command stagnation those in ministry pray in the name of jesus i do ministry with results i command the spirit of stagnation over my life stagnation in my career stagnation over my endeavors in the name of jesus i decree and declare i press i go forward i move forward in every area of my life i break forth from the left i break forth from the right i break forth above and below in the name of jesus i make constructive ever increasing progress ever increasing project progress i actualize destiny by the power of the holy spirit some of you may have experienced stagnation even in your structural establishment you begun a building it has refused to grow it has refused to be completed pray and rebuke that spirit in the name of jesus hallelujah finally look up please i want you to pray over your finances now let me say this we're wrapping up i don't know if you are interested in your financial well-being or not but as a man of god that god has placed over you i will not let you rest till you prosper it's not only knowing god you will know god you will love him with all your heart but i can tell you in advance if something is wrong with your finances you will suffer as if jesus did not die for you are we together i've seen fi financial issues finance is not everything but let me submit to you finance holds a major key in your well-being ask anybody who is sincere especially at this time now you know how much look at diesel 700 and something pms only god knows the other day we we're discussing a school of ministry gas cylinder gas cylinder i don't know whether it's empty or filled you you will buy it and be crying as you are lifting it back home because of you know all kinds of things women will tell you here you go to the market it's as if you want to run away from that place because everything has escalated you see the bible told us that these times will come but there is a system of exemption don't forget there was darkness in egypt but there was light all over goshen are we together now when you are praying for your finances you are going to pray a twofold prayer number one that christ be revealed as the wisdom of god remember there are two levels of light there is light that shines on your head job 29 and there is light that shines on your feet the one that shines on your head gives you illumination the one that shines on your feet gives you direction you need both you need strategy and direction thou shall hear a voice from behind saying just because everybody is doing something you follow them you may crash you need a specific direction and then of course we are going to pray that the favor of god oh dear i'm praying that you will really understand the role that favor has to play as far as your financial lifting is concerned what is favor men willing to participate in your in your success are you ready to pray in one minute cry to god pray break this hold of financial stagnation please pray please pray 
most of what you have written here if you are to be very honest most of them depend on finances the fees of your children structural projects your well-being and welfare those who are under your care that you need to take care of as a person you may not have any financial need but how about your organization how about your church how about your ministry lift your voice and pray especially for some of you that god has so graciously raised to be breadwinners to be the ones who will help your loved ones lift your voice and pray lord strengthen my hand strengthen my hand financially even at times like this holy spirit appear unto me as the wisdom of god let light shine upon my head giving me illumination and strategies let light shine upon my feet giving me direction and guidance please pray pray from the depth of your heart there are many pending projects in our lives because of financial limitations there are many things we are unable to do as far as our divine assignments are concerned because of financial constraints rebuke that spirit i'm about to speak over your life hallelujah 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 can i tell you sincerely one of the reasons why we are able to serve god in truth by the mercies of god is because god has shown us mercy on this wise i can tell you integrity is difficult when you have financial problems just believe me when i tell you this now remember we've taught here when we teach on finances there are people who exaggerate it and it is all about the marketing of flesh money money let me have money just for the sake of the flesh that's not what we're saying but any sincere person who loves god knows that if something is wrong with your finances it can wreck your marriage there are do you know that there are children that stop going to school since after the pandemic because their parents sincerely cannot offer it and there are others who maybe have their jobs their jobs are still there they are paying them the salary is just that it is honestly not enough to solve the problems can i tell you this i've told you i pray to god and i vowed and covenanted with god that i will never be the man of god who just focuses on your spiritual growth alone and then leave other aspects of your life to go down imagine that as you're standing right now there's no food in my house i'm going to carry a bowl and walk to you prophetically not generally i will walk to you i will tell you as, as soon as i get to you just don't even argue with me i know what i've seen that made me come to you because of hunger so most of the people who are compromising on integrity may not necessarily be bad people when you pray for the grace for integrity pray for financial empowerment if you are empowered it will give you the leverage to be able to walk in integrity are we together now if someone comes to bribe you to change something in your office and is going to give you hundred million you can say no i'm standing for jesus you will go to heaven but you will still suffer on earth because of that that because of your integrity so you have to pray a time has come in the body of christ where we should not shy away from the necessity of financial empowerment you can be empowered and still be righteous you can still be empowered and love jesus are we together there are more compromises as a result of lack of resources than there are as a result of plenty resources are you ready to pray for favor please cry unto god in one minute father let favor come upon my life grant me financial rest the lord put this in my heart this is part of the miracle service i must honor what he has given me please pray corporate rest financially personal rest financially lord grant rest in the name of jesus i'm tired of financial embarrassment i'm tired of worrying about money is distracting my prayer life is distracting my word study life luck is introducing wrong relationships to my life grant me the grace to be empowered pray for favor pray for favor pray for favor 
God using men to participate in your lifting God using men to participate in your destiny outside make sure you pray if this is all we do tonight it was worth it Lord the realities of the times will not catch up with me I am immune by knowledge immune by favor hallelujah exodus 11 3 exodus 11 3 i'm about to pray right now have i wasted your time tonight exodus 11 3 please be patient i want you to return with results media are we still there are we together exodus 11 3 read with me please everyone one to read and the lord gave the people favor stop so people as a as a community can find favor not just an individual and the lord gave the people favor in the sight of the egyptians uh-huh moreover the man moses was very great in the land of egypt in the sight of pharaoh's servants and in the sight of the people what was responsible for his favor the lord gave favor there is a relationship between favor and greatness truly you can be great by favor i have taught you that who hates you does not matter naysayers can go but who likes you you are going to pray that god will make someone like you it's not a carnal prayer in this wicked world that god will, will make someone endear to you genuinely with no strings attached lift your voice and cry to heaven Believe me, one person who finds favor, who you find favor with, can give you a house, can give you all these things you are looking for. It's not a license for laziness, but it's an advantage in the kingdom. Let's tap into it. Lord, grant me favor. God can open untold doors into profitable relationships. Lord, I'm tired of troublemakers in my life. Send help us. Is someone praying? Lord, I'm tired of naysayers in my life. Send genuine help us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's save the time. Please prophetically stretch your hands here. And let's begin to declare just for one or two minutes i'm going to pray go ahead and begin to declare we decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit every request are you praying lord they return as testimonies every praise to our God, every song of worship is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. One more time. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise, In the name of Jesus, Father, we have obeyed you and we have honored you by bringing our requests. For the Bible says to be anxious in nothing, but it says in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. You said we should let our request made be made known unto god father we have brought this as representations of our concerns grant us rest in jesus name amen. shout it louder amen. amen as i would always say in the name of jesus every prayer request here is turned into a testimony amen. supernatural testimonies most of the testimonies here require favor may that favor work for you in the name of jesus christ 
any human agent stopping answers to this prayer we clear them out of the way now and i decree and declare as we have spoken and as we have declared let it be so for you you will return back with your testimony in jesus name i pray please lift your hands let me speak over your life thank you for your patience in the name of jesus i decree and declare this week by the power that raised christ from the dead everything that has not been working everything that represents a disappointment i stand upon this grace and i decree and declare may it begin to work in your life hear me the same way you left your home and you came here and nothing stopped you where you need to live and go to may nothing stop you in the name of jesus christ the same way when you left your home there were many roads but you knew the exact road to follow to get to this place every confusion around your life may god show you the exact thing to do now in the name of jesus for all of you who are here when you got to the gate the gate did not close against you therefore i declare every gate that has closed against you i open it now in the name of jesus christ hear me there are many things you need in your life but you do not have the currency to buy them the wisdom as currency to buy the favor as currency to buy every spiritual currency you need to transact supernaturally and bring to your life results may that currency be supplied you now in the name of jesus hear me if you have submitted anything on the desk of your helper and they have forgotten you this week may it be a week of remembrance for you i prophesy this week may it be a week of remembrance for you hallelujah you are exempted from kidnappers i say it again you and your children are exempted from kidnappers in the name of jesus you are exempted from accidents you are exempted from the evils of the day in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you finally this grace called favor that can come upon your life as a mantle and turn your life around i decree and declare it is a signature grace in this ministry therefore i pray carry that grace now carry that grace now find favor with men find favor even with egyptians find favor with systems find favor with structures in the name of jesus be great by favor rise by favor thrive by favor in the name of jesus christ finally everything that has brought tears to your eyes i decree and declare your weeping comes to an end now let it become a season of laughter for you in jesus name i pray i hear the chain i hear the chain oh, number two now i want to pray it's a prayer of restoration and i see the anointing coming on several people hear me what this grace will do is that everything that left you that should not have gone by this anointing wherever it is it returns back i decree and declare in the name of jesus everything you have lost connections relationships spiritual virtues at the count of three may that fire and that grace that makes for restoration come upon you bring them out one two three help that woman please take that grace now in the name of jesus they are taken for a prey a 
and none say it restore we come with a voice of restoration let there be restoration in the name of Jesus everything you have lost let it return to you I prophesy as I was commanded and there was a sound bones came to his bone bones came to his bone business came to his business finances came to finances let there be restoration in the name of Jesus Christ shout a loud amen let there be restoration now hear me please look at me there are families here you've lost everything literally everything opportunities you were not like this but everything started crashing down finances went down relationships went down connections went down i stand by the power of the holy spirit and i declare by this anointing let that grace come upon you for restoration let that grace come upon you for restoration hear me when saul met prophet samuel the first miracle that happened to him was that everything the donkey that you are looking for has been found there are anointings that can cause everything that strayed from its place of assignment to return back again now i want to pray I don't know how we're going to do it let me just pray for those in front first so they can return back for all of you in front here i decree and declare by this anointing experience strange restorations by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus i speak to you by the anointing that raised christ from the dead the grace of priesthood it comes upon you and it brings you restoration in the name of jesus the son of the living god hallelujah this man that man wearing suit you what do you do my friend where huh? in just your own ministry I want to pray for you you are a sincere man please don't be embarrassed I don't mean to embarrass you you're a sincere man but there is so there are so many things for you to learn and understand but in truth the call of God is upon your life and you have been praying and crying that God will anoint you please lift your hands an anointing is coming upon you you will shift into dimensions of the teaching grace and the healing anointing take that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare help him please you will never be the same even by the power of the Holy Spirit he's shifting you to a new dimension I impart that grace upon you access to the wisdom of the Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ madam this woman wearing green mama something is coming on you I'm seeing like oil being poured on her head in the name of Jesus is bringing you to a separation by the Spirit of God and God is going to be doing great and mighty things even in your life in the name of Jesus Christ who is the son of the living God for all those in front here, I declare you are blessed in Jesus' name. If you can, please return to your seat. I want to minister the power of the Holy Spirit now. That's why I want them to clear the way. Now, please hear me. I believe that everyone who names the name of Christ should be free from any and all kinds of demonic influences. Look at me. The spirits, wicked spirits, are behind the tragedies and the ills that are in the lives of men and families believe it or not he said i desire to come to you even i paul once and again but satan hindered us he's hindered families i want to pray some of you will marvel and wonder can i tell you most of the things you wrote here as a prayer request demon spirits walk like an octopus they will touch several aspects of your life and confuse you but it's one and the same spirit 
but when that spirit by the authority of the name of Jesus is taken out of the way I have seen what the power of God can do over demons and I can have seen the testimonies that come when people are genuinely set free I am come he said that ye may have life and that you have it more abundantly it is a thief that cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy now I want to pray there are spirits that have sat upon the destinies of men some of you mysterious occurrences around your life that will not let you go forward I want to pray I want to that's why I said clear the way because they are going to bring some other people here at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus it is a name that is above every other name exalted as Lord and Christ and as you shout that name every planting that is not of God must give way it's time for your liberty it says to open up the prisons to those that are bound to set the captives free father I decree and declare that in the name of he that died and rose again exalted as Lord and Christ every spirit that is not of the Christ standing the way of your people as they shout the healer let it be like the crumbling of the walls of Jericho are you ready now at the count of three shout that name Jesus one two three shout Jesus I command those devils go now I command those spirits release their destinies now bring them out by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I break every yoke I command every activity of witchcraft and diabolism it leaves you now releasing your destiny I declare that release I command Satan let God's people go free in the name of Jesus blotting out every handwriting and ordinances that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross and if the sun sets you free you are free indeed i declare your liberty i declare your liberty from affliction your liberty from every demonic activity bring them out hallelujah now please hear me the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing chains on people's hands. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. I want to pray for you. The fire of God is coming and bringing you great deliverance. I'm seeing the number 21. 21 people. I'm seeing that this fire is coming upon them. Right now I decree and declare wherever you are by the power that raised Christ from the dead I come up I command those chains be broken right now chains be broken be broken help them please be broken in the name of Jesus Christ chains be broken in the name of Jesus Christ chains be broken Bring them out. The setting of the Savior, your name is to be honored. The rising of the sun to the setting of the Savior, your name, your name is to be honored. Hallelujah. Who is by the name Stephanie? 
I'm hearing a name Stephanie is there someone with that name Stephanie the Lord wants to visit you right now the Stephanie I'm seeing is wearing red complete red is there someone like that Stephanie please don't come out carelessly make sure that you fall into this category Stephanie I want to pray for you what he says to one he says to all I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that every planting that is not of God by the power that raised Christ from the dead I decree and declare it comes to an end now agree with them and shout amen in the name of Jesus wow I just saw light across the minister stand I shouldn't say this but I just saw light I, I saw the anointing coming on two people right now just on the, the minister's seat just light and the Lord is saying a season is coming to an end and another season is opening I don't know who that is for but in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands by the power of the Holy Spirit let it be so in the name of Jesus Christ even one of the ministers is receiving a grace for prayer the spirit of prayer and supplication that grace help them please my God please help them in the name of Jesus that grace for prayer and supplication is coming upon you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I don't know if there is a woman here they call you mama grace is there someone like that I just heard that I don't know if it's your daughter that is grace but it's like they call you mama grace of grace that's in house of the mother of grace please if there's someone like that I want to pray for you we're going to be praying for the sick shortly but I just heard that and then I'll pray for you who is Joel Joel I'm hearing a name Joel is there someone with such a name please don't tell lies make sure Jesus is here Joel Joel mama who did they call mama grace you mama can I pray for you remember not the former things nor consider the things of old the Lord himself by his spirit is doing a new thing I'm seeing the Lord heal someone right now I'm seeing someone you've been experiencing signs of arthritis we're going to pray for the sick right now signs of arthritis but right now that pain is living in the name of Jesus Christ that pain is living right now in the name of Jesus Christ mama grace I'm still hearing that name again I presume that there might be a number of women but we'll just stand by faith and pray for the ones we have here in the name of Jesus Christ this right here someone is going to shout loud under the anointing there pick the person and bring the person just write down the anointing I just saw like fire there might be shouts elsewhere but right here mighty God hmm. I will worship him forever love him forever because this God is too good I will worship you forever love you forever because this God is too good I know a God who is merciful and kind faithful and gracious on the apple of his eyes the thoughts that fills his heart every morning noon and night he loved me when i didn't care and, and was patient till i came running, running back, back into his arms oh, oh this will be your testimony 
of Jesus I decree and declare the power of God will come on one of you here the moment that happens the Lord is bringing healing and deliverance just one of you who is in front here very quickly I already begin to sense the healing anointing I just saw an anointing coming on one of you who is in front here in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I decree and declare let that be so for you in the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My attention is distracted there. Please, um, I want you to help the person who the power of God comes upon right now. I just saw oil being poured just straight down this road. Majesty. Now in the name of Jesus, I declare for all of you who are out here, may the Lord visit you and visit your children. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord visit you and visit your children. In the name of Jesus, I'm about to pray for the sick now. Twelve years trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Who is that? Twelve years. I'm seeing the number twelve. Twelve years. Please don't just come out anyhow. Just let's just 12 years. Ah, salvation has come to you. Who is that person? 12 years. 12 years. Let's celebrate Jesus. It is coming to an end. I know you are here. Here in your power. I know, I know you, you are here. here. Precious Holy Spirit, I know, I know you are here, here, here in your glory. I know you are here. Precious Holy Spirit, I know you are here, here in your glory. I know you are here, sweet Holy Spirit. I know you are here. You are here to take us higher. I know you are here, precious Holy Spirit. Now, hold on, please. I'm going to ask Pastor Nat. Listen, there are many of you. Who are called into prophetic worship now hear me help them please he's going to blow the trumpet and hear me as he blasts that trumpet from the depth of the spirit a mantle and a grace is going to rest upon you please hear me doing music is not just about singing it's a spiritual affair some of you will draw songs from the realm of the spirit some of you will hear melodies in the night. Some of you who are instrumentalists will lay your hands from tonight. And it will be a different sound. Are you ready? There will be a mighty baptism. It doesn't matter what auditorium. My God. A sound is coming. By the spirit of grace. And upon this sound. There will be an awakening. A prophetic awakening. From within your spirit. Yes sir. Oh, spring up your wells. We call for prophetic fountain. Mistrials of glory. Prophetic samisri. We decree and declare. Let that grace and that mantle rest upon you. Songs of
of deliverance. Songs in the night. Songs of worship. We find the altar of worship. A fresh again. A fresh again. Let fire fall upon your ministry. New dimension, new seasons, new seasons. Pastor Sam, the Lord is just telling me to tell you truly that he's bringing you into a new season in ministry that your influence will start rising beyond Gombe State. This is what God is saying. God will begin to draw people to come and drink from you that are beyond that state and that grace by the spirit of grace may that grace rest upon you and it will start as the ministry of prayer and then it will move to the prophetic prayer and the prophetic in the name of Jesus may God make that happen for you by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare let those wells be opened by the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I pray hallelujah now hear me hear me I'm seeing the grace of the intercessor and I'm seeing the number 40 many of them women there is a prophetic grace for prayer and intercession at the count of three that mantle is coming on people right now prayer groups intercessory groups will arise by the spirit one my god two three take that fire now now two let the grace for intercession fall upon you women of prayer women of power women that wait until prophecy is perfect over the state over families we decree by the decree of the watchman help that woman please in the name of jesus christ for the sick I believe in the healing ministry holy 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 are you Lord holy 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 are Angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. My sister, this lady wearing yellow, lift your hands. I'm seeing oil coming on your head, and the Lord is saying He's opening you up to a new season. In the name of Jesus, may that anointing come upon your life and shift you to a new season. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord.
Please lay your hand right now where you are trusting God for a healing miracle. I want you to believe in the power of Jesus to heal. You can bring the requests up while we do that so we hurry up right now. Please lay your hands wherever. If it's your head, lay your hands there as a point of contact. I tell you there's, there's such mighty anointing to heal right now. Something is happening. All of the overflows everywhere you're the, the power of God upon to heal you are the lamb upon you are the lamb upon hallelujah now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest as a point of contact and for all of you who are following you're watching from your homes you're watching from wherever whatever tv station here is your chance to experience the power of jesus from america to europe to asia here in africa all of the states connected and following here is your chance to experience the miracle working power of jesus i want you to believe as i pray listen miracles are not superstitions they are direct products of the power of god in the life of a believing Christian that you believe he's able to heal you then he comes to heal agree with me as I pray now hear me our time is up and I don't intend to keep us unnecessarily long but we have to do this very quickly I'm just going to be praying for one or two minutes the moment I pray for you, 
a miracle already miracles are already happening everywhere inside here outside for those of you who came you came and probably miracles were already happening to you now as i pray for you i want you to believe and receive by faith remember i taught you the law of faith when i pray for you i'm going to request that you do what you could not do the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you may i please request for sake of time that you use either this place in front by my left or that place by my right the moment the power of god touches you and you find out that you could do something a relief the growth is gone the pain is gone you couldn't walk now you can walk you were blind now you can see i will request when i ask you to to run out and stand here and we'll take a few of the testimonies before we pray finally over the requests and then we're done for the night make sure you do not sit back as his power touches you perhaps you may have received a miracle yesterday and you didn't have the time to prophesy when those who are coming out are coming out you can join them very quickly when i say in jesus name please shout a believing amen in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare right now every spirit of infirmity here upon this ground and here upon the plateau we decree and declare in the name of he who died and was raised by the glory of the father seated and exalted even jesus i decree and declare that your hold over god's people is broken now in the name of jesus now i decree and declare be healed now be healed now from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed now i release miracles in the name of jesus i command blind eyes to be opened now whether partial blindness complete blindness be healed now deafness be healed in the name of jesus every blood condition I rebuke that condition in the name of Jesus. Lumps. The Lord is showing me lumps of all kinds. I declare that those lumps disappear now. Hepatitis. Be healed now. HIV. Be healed now. Cancer. Be healed now. Fibroids. Be healed now your vascular conditions be healed now bone conditions you came here on crutches you came here using an aid be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone I'm seeing you can't see very well in fact it's, it's almost as if one eye is completely blind but right now as I'm praying you're from a distance the power of God will come upon you and you will see that you can see clearly right now in the name of jesus bone conditions be healed right now i'm seeing a young lady who came here you are ss in the name of jesus christ we change that genotype now by the power of the holy ghost peptic ulcer be healed right now lower abdominal pain be healed right now pain around your vertebra be healed in the name of jesus severe waist pain in the name of jesus the lord is healing you there's someone you have just hit around your body in jesus name be healed now now there's someone you have a condition it looks like mums you know what mums are where there's one is swelling at the side of your cheek but it's been there for a while you would notice that the contour of your face one side looks swollen than the other you've seen this you've prayed you've done your best but it's not gone right now i command that that condition is restored in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ there's someone you're a young man but you get tired very easily almost like a very old person you can't stand for long i declare be healed right now now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god here at this conference be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name 
be healed in Jesus name now very quickly I want you to check yourself and do what you couldn't do the moment you find out that there is a miracle boldly make your way to the front right now let's celebrate them as you come check yourself check yourself in any of the overflows the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you you've been healed relieved of any pain migraine headaches going make your way to the front are you celebrating miracles people are coming out very quickly make your way boldly to the front look at miracles are happening my goodness are you seeing what is happening here what are you turning to wine open the eyes of the blind there's no one like you Can we have one or two pastors? Just help me. Sing to the darkness we shine. Out of the ashes we rise. No one inside or outside. I'm seeing angelic activities. The Lord is bringing an end to very strange, mysterious occurrences. Bring them. everywhere all over the overflows there's something mysterious god is removing from lives and families bring them out we're talking about the power of jesus here bring them out you can't stand it it's not it is this is a word from god god is separating you he's bringing something out you will be surprised at the testimonies that come by this remember christ is revealed as a power of god there are still more people i saw so many people in my visions that anointing is coming on you all over the overflow outside literally an anointing will lift you from your seat literally let the end come now in the name of jesus let the end come now captivity always has an end let the end come now around the balconies i'm seeing angelic activities around the balconies in the name of jesus let the end come now let the end come now in the name of jesus christ let the end come. You, you can't stand this is the power of god Come. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand, Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one, can. No one will. Oh. oh, oh. As a patient will take the testimonies but god is doing something here right now i'm looking at 14 people 14 people i'm looking at you in the spirit but i'm not seeing a face i'm seeing you covered you know how you want to shoot a criminal and you wear something on their face like a hood the lord is lifting that hood right now that is a garment of shame 14 people the power of god is coming on you now 14 people the garment of shame the garment of shame Parakotos Ketepata We tear off that garment Now from your destiny Tear off that garment From your destiny In the name of Jesus Christ
that lady the third row first second third i command that spirit to let you go now in the name of jesus the third row in front i rebuke that devil let her go now now in the name of jesus release her i'm seeing that lady tied with what looks like snakes let her go now who is chinedu i'm hearing a name chinedu who is that chinedu name of Jesus Christ by the Spirit of the Living God help them please I decree right now may that grace and that unction my goodness let it come upon you right now take that grace take that grace take that anointing help that lady please supernatural favor I decree and declare I place it as a mantle upon your head go and excel I shift systems and structures by the power of prophecy may that grace rest upon you find favor with systems find favor with structures find favor with Egyptians find favor with kings in the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is honor is a grace. Listen, you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon you by another honor is a grace that is transferable do you know what is, is honor honor means to be seen for who you truly are and to be rewarded to match the true worth of your person that's what honor means favor means to be preferred but honor means to be given the regard that befits your sacrifice you can be great but if honor is not on you you will not be rewarded to match your true worth let me show you a scripture numbers 27 from verse 18 to 20 let's hurry up for time we're wrapping up now the lord said unto moses Take thee Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit already, and lay your hands upon him. Is that in your Bible? Verse 2. It says, Set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation, and give him a charge in their sight. Verse 20 please read it if you're a christian one to read and thou shalt put some of your honor on him that all the congregation of the children of israel may be obedient people don't listen to you just because you are sincere there is honor that comes upon you call moses he's already filled with the holy spirit but lay your hands upon him and then in anointing him don't leave him like that transfer some of your honor to him honor is transferable can i pray for you father just help those under the anointing i pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god May that grace right now may it rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ that grace for honor 
everything that has despised your grace everything that has despised the investment of God upon your life I change that narrative by this mantle in the name of Jesus Christ help them please in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah who is Joseph Joseph I'm hearing a name Joseph who is that Joseph we're wrapping up what do you do my friend I cannot what do you hold on what do you do what do you do who is a who is a music minister here you is, is he a member of me? huh you sing listen to me you see that prayer on the iron gate go and pray that prayer when you go back i want to pray for you because truly god wants to lift you but this this is not just by human connections is not what this is by the spirit i pray for you in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god may that grace that gives visibility something is coming on you right now take that grace now in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same take that grace by the power of the holy spirit anybody here that works in access bank access bank access bank oh I know him I didn't even know he was one There are strange liftings that are coming to people in this place. I stretch my hands, three of you, I, you don't have to kneel. In the name of Jesus Christ, I place an anointing upon you that in the marvelous name of Jesus Christ, this grace for favor, let it come upon you right now for your lifting. You take that grace, find favor, even with your administrators in the name of jesus and every conspiracy of darkness to implicate you we cancel it right now by the blood of the lamb in the mighty name of jesus christ let it be so in the name of jesus christ let it be so in the name of jesus christ two more prayers i want to release the grace for speed truly there is a grace for speed now hear me I don't know how we're going to do it I just have maybe less than two three minutes and I'm done thank you for your patience with me but I want to release this grace from the depth of my heart I told you true dominion is dominion over time now whether you are an usher or not please help me in this prayer because the hand of God will come on people and they will start running physically I want you to help them so they don't injure themselves and you can bring them out right now I stretch my hands this this ministry would be characterized by and with a strange order of speed I stretch my hands at the count of three my god I'm just seeing fire rest on people please bring those under the anointing right now at the count of three one bring them out two Three, take that grace now. Help them. Speed, speed. Help them, please. My God, speed, speed. Receive that grace. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab. I come.
command speed speed in business speed in ministry speed in career i cause the root of delay by the power that raised christ from the dead i cause a bakato shedegata receive speed receive speed receive speed in the name of jesus christ you'll never be the same speed 10 years in one year 10 years i prophesy 10 years in one year the result of 10 years in one year 10 years in one year in the name of jesus christ help that woman please in the name of jesus christ please hear me i stand in partnership with the grace upon your man of god in three months from today according to the mystery of the ark in the house of obed edom i stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic and i speak to you between now and the next three months i shift you to a new season help them i shift you to a new season hear me we're wrapping up that night could not the king sleep and he said bring me the chronicles and they opened the chronicles and he saw where mordecai had saved the life of the king and was not rewarded hear me many of you have been part of the success story of many and yet you've been forgotten i stand by prophecy let the book of remembrance be open now there is an anointing coming on your wife sir i'm seeing an angel pour like oil on her and the lord is saying she's entering a season of reward this is what i'm seeing in the spirit she's entering a strange season of reward let me say it again anyone who has forgotten you i stand in partnership with the grace of your man of god may that book of remembrance be open now is there any man in the house of saul that i may show kindness for jonathan's sake in the name of jesus the son of the living god by this fire that is coming upon you i decree and declare wherever the helpers of your destiny are in this abuja i speak to the north i speak to the east i speak to the south i speak to the west i command them to show up for you now hallelujah last prayer point please hear me the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall you be established it says believe in his prophets so shall you prosper can i tell you this there are different dimensions and levels of wealth there is wealth that comes by providing value there is wealth that comes by relationships but there is wealth that comes by prophecy it says by this time tomorrow and when he said it the one who the king leans on said even if god will open the windows of heaven might this happen i want to pray for you praying the prophetic dimension of wealth is not a license for laziness however in this kingdom we are not just left with economic principles there is a superior advantage that in addition to the value that we provide in addition to the relationships that come based on our impacting lives my life is a testimony i can tell you there is a prophetic dimension of wealth in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters 
I pray for you finally in this prayer session of fasting and praying in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God the same grace that took a raven and it brought bread for Elijah at Brook Cherith the same grace that took coin and put it in the mouth of a fish the same grace that turned five loaf and two fish to feed five thousand people with twelve baskets remaining by the power of the prophetic in the name of Jesus I connect you to strategic relationships strategic relationships in the name of Jesus the end of in March, the name of Jesus I stand by the mantle of God upon my life and I decree and declare may the heavens be open over you financially may the heavens be open over you financially in the name of Jesus Christ hear me when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion he said we were like help that lady please my God we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden the lord had done great things for us he said the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity like the streams of the negative i prophesy to you by the power that raised christ from the dead every captivity help that lady please i turn it around right now 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 Go and prosper, prosper in ministry. Go and prosper, prosper in business. Go and prosper, prosper in family. Go and prosper, prosper in career. Go and prosper, prosper in this city. I command Lagos to be open for you now. And let me pray over every member of this great assembly serving with joy serving with passion for the bible declares that a worker is worthy of his wages in the name of jesus christ i decree and i prophesy i use this as a point of contact to all the branches across the world connecting by faith the global family of this vision i decree and declare rise to a new dimension I declare advancement for you in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Heavenly Father I pray that your people will never be the same go from glory to glory and grace to grace in Jesus name Dr. Emerson thank you may the Lord honor you in Jesus name I am undone before your glorious majesty. Shalakata brande kaparato sadilakata. Someone pray. The test of courage. The Lord, when you speak, I will not only listen, I will move. If I fail, let me fail hearing you. My soul fear not. My soul fear not over your finances. My soul fear not over your spiritual life. My soul fear not in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear not. He stands behind you like a mighty terrible one. In the name of Jesus. Now pray over the second test. Lord, as you lift me, take away the influence of my results over my life. Let it not influence me to a point that I forget you. 
to a point that I stopped living by the values that brought me that honor. Someone lift your voice and cry before your maker. Let it not be that when you have built houses, and your flocks and herds are multiplied that you will say my power and the might of my hand has given me this way but thou shall remember the Lord thy God thou shall remember the Lord thy God Hallelujah. Father, we ask you to help us. You have used the life of Gideon and the strategy that empowered him to use 300 men and defeat the Midianites. Lord, there are mountains, there are heights, there are levels and there are realms that we have not gotten to, that we need to get to. We are in seasons in our lives where we need to make notable advancements, notable progress. Lord, we pray that the test of courage, may we pass that test. The test of courage, may we pass that test. The test of courage, may we pass that test Amen. and then oh god i pray that as you honor us and as you give us results before the nations before our contemporaries before all men may you grant us the stamina to not be distracted by results Amen. that we will celebrate your hand and your workings in our lives but not to the detriment of our advancement help us oh god that in the midst of our results may we remain focused Amen. may we remain disciplined Amen. may we remain spiritual Amen. may we remain committed Amen. may we remain humble Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. and lord as we humble ourselves before you let there be no limit to the degree and the dimension with which you will lift us Amen. now in the name of jesus i stand in faith with the angel over this house and then the graces that are here represented and i decree and declare over your life that the courage to keep moving until you leap over a wall until you cross barriers to the next season May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for you. For anyone here. Who probably because of mistakes that you have made. The glory that you once enjoyed. It is now Ichabod. It looks like the dimension of lifting you experienced has seemed to leave you the relationships the connections right now i declare the same grace that grew back the hair of samson i stand by the power of the prophetic let there be restoration now restoration of relationships restoration of dignity restoration of finances restorations of joy and by the power of the prophetic like moses commanded the nation of israel to go forward in the name of jesus christ go forward go forward to new heights to new levels to new dimensions spiritually go forward financially go forward in the name of jesus christ and every power that has fought you until this conference to not allow you breakthrough powers of ancestry orchestrations in heavenly places i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood 
and I have a lakatos in the name of Jesus. Be delivered from those powers now. Let there be testimonies for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Testimonies in ministry, testimonies in family, testimonies in your walk with God. Finally, I pray for you. Everything that has stolen your passion for God, your passion for prayer, your passion for the secret place, your zeal for spiritual things, distractions that have come through relationships, distractions that have come through your results, in the name of Jesus, I fan the flames of your spiritual life. I fan the flames of your prayer life. I fan the flames of your word life. In the name of Jesus Christ, to everyone who is sick in body, I declare be healed now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Please, by the power of God, please bring them to the stage now. Thank you, Jesus. And all the overflows, you can just bring them to the front. I have searched and searched all the earth. Search. Yes, Abu Wali Kamaraka. Please bring them out. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. There are many people right now, the power of God is coming on them. Please, whether you are an usher or not, help them. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may that anointing come upon them now things are shifting and changing bring them out by the spirit of the living God I bring you the ministry of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah this man come this one hold on this man what do you do no, 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 you, please. Where? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing the face of Pastor Paul and Enche on your face. This is what I'm seeing. Huh? Help them, please. I'm looking at him and I'm, I, just, I just saw a flash of it. Maybe he's a spiritual son or something of that sort. He's a what? Oh, he's a pastor in Dunamis. From Bauchi State. Is it true? Come, sir. What do you do? Huh? Where? What ministry? Praise revival. You believe in the power of God? Yes, sir. Lift your hands. Step into a new level from yes, now. Sir. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release you into a new dimension of the anointing, the power of the Holy Spirit. You will never be the same. Lift your voice in one minute and begin to pray. Everything that is not a revelation of the grace of God in my life, I command it to go now. Is someone praying? Plato, lift your voice and pray. Pray, lift your voice and pray. Help us under the anointing. The God of integrity, the one who has ability, the God of integrity, integrity, help them please. The God of integrity. Hallelujah. Now hear me. The Bible says, Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. Kaba Kato Sataya. It says that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven, of things in the earth, and of things under the earth. I want to pray for you now that everything that is not of God, that every power that ties you down 
it must go now and release your destiny at the count of three i will ask you to shout jesus and at that shout hear me that every door that has refused to open everything that has tied you must let you go now are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout jesus by the power of the holy ghost be free come down please be free be free atmosphere shift now chains be broken holy spirit Help them, please. Hallelujah. Hear me. If you came here walking with a crutch or an aid, lift it up now and begin to walk. You came with an aid or a crutch, lift it up now. Lift it up now and begin to walk. Lift it up now and begin to walk. Everywhere you came here with a crutch, anything assisting you, lift it up by the power of the Holy Ghost and begin to walk. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Please help them. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that everything that will not let you go by the power that raised Christ from the dead I command that it leaves you now now I command that it leaves you now in the name of Jesus the Son of the Living God blotting every handwriting the Bible says and every ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross therefore I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant I declare you free now free now free now by the blood of the Lamb hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is showing me a few minutes and then we're done the Lord is showing me a woman I'm seeing a woman I don't know if it's a lump or something at the left side of your breast as I'm praying for you right now the power of God is touching you right now that devil leaves your body in the name of Jesus Christ that devil leaves your body in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah is there someone with the name Godia I'm hearing a name Godia is there someone with that name I'm hearing a name Godia please make sure you don't just come out carelessly Godia please let's be orderly so that we don't your name as a man your name is Godia that's all right please let's let's not be chaotic I will pray for you I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit and my friend shout Jesus as loud as you can Jesus! in the name of Jesus I decree and declare be free now by the power that raised Christ from the dead help him be free forever in the name of Jesus Christ I pray you are the man from dunamis the Lord is going to begin to do mighty things through your life Amen. I see this unction for signs and wonders Amen. the Lord is bringing upon you you will start walking in levels dimensions of the miraculous Amen. make sure that pride does not come when that comes in humility and character we dispense the gift may the grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for Godia I want to pray for you please don't make it rowdy I presume that there may be many people with that name but in the name of Jesus I pray for you the Lord is showing me a woman I can see someone there's someone there's a miracle over there 
please make sure don't put anybody under pressure make sure they are really healed make sure they are really healed you just confirm the miracles hallelujah now hold on please the lord is showing me a woman six years you've been trusting god for the fruit of the womb i'm seeing three miscarriages like not not just three major miscarriages six years you've been trusting god for the fruit of the womb who is that person please don't tell lies where this is we're on air and we're before jesus christ i'm not just saying if you are trusting for a miracle this exact description You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. You're the God of everything, no one like you. No one like you. Jesus, no one like you, no one like you, no one like you, no one like you, help them please. You're the God of everything, no one like you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, how long have you been married? 12 years but I have three, miscarriages. three miscarriages that's all right i'll still pray for you in the name of jesus you believe in the power of god to heal place your hand on your stomach jesus thank you you are the god that can open the womb that is closed therefore i decree and declare by the power that raised jesus from the dead help her please i command that devil of barrenness out of her now in the name of jesus christ I declare that according to the time of life you return with your testimony we veto through the medical conditions and we declare healing for you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ for all of you who are in front for sake of time in Jesus name I declare you are delivered you are blessed in Jesus name please return back to your seat what's what's that somebody who has been healed huh Oh, she was using the crutches. To this point. She was using the crutches before. Yes. And she could walk from the back. back what point. happened to her? Accident. Accident. Yes. For how long? Close to eight years. Close to eight years. You couldn't walk without this. Spinal cord injury. Oh, spinal cord injury. My God. Place your hand on your chest, my dear. I'm still seeing somebody with a crutch. I know what I'm seeing in my vision. Like this aid. I'm seeing this in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Whether you are following online or you are in any of the overflows, I bring you life and healing right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for those who are following from their homes, following from hospitals, in the name of Jesus, let the healing power of Jesus touch you right where you are. My dear, in the name of Jesus, I declare perfection over your body. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Pain and spinal problem, I curse you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I curse you right now. My dear, look at me. Who I just saw light. The power of God will come upon them. They will shout loud to the hearing of everybody. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is in of favor. Right now, I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare that that grace will come on you. You will experience very strange dimensions of that grace. There is a man of God here. I don't know who, but I'm seeing a man of God here. The Lord is bringing speed to your life and ministry. Listen, please. You will literally start running just help that person you're a man of god i'm not saying just you aspire to get into ministry it is a supernatural thing honestly sometimes i don't know why god does this but just a grace coming literally it's like something is pulling you to run this is a supernatural impartation 
and your ministry will so change your life will change wherever that man of god is lord you know the secret prayers of that man and as you have given this word i decree and declare may that unction for speed my god may that grace for speed right now let it rest please help them so they don't injure themselves help that man in the name of jesus christ by the power that raised christ from the dead my friend this man wearing suit yes lift your hand the lord says i should tell you remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old i don't know what has happened over you but let this grace come upon you i open you by the spirit to a new season take that fire now in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same in the mighty and marvelous name of jesus you will never confirm your word over this our father in the name of jesus sir by the privilege of god's grace i stretch my hands towards you there is an anointing that is coming on you and the lord is saying he's shifting you you will start having prophetic encounters dreams and visionary experiences i decree and declare that you are stepping into that grace in the mighty and marvelous name of jesus christ amen and amen now please at the permission of your pastor if he will allow i want to request that tomorrow night I want you to come please write your prayer request anything you are trusting God to do the visitations you are trusting God for may I plead and may I request that you come with your prayer request you can call your loved ones wherever they are across the globe they can send it to you and as an act of faith you can bring it here and somewhere in the course of the service we're going to be praying and asking the Lord to visit families but I assure you that as a result of tonight's encounter go back and meet testimonies waiting for you please shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ you will not need to tell men you came for a conference like this the results that show from your life beginning from tonight will be testaments that you visited the God of heaven I decree and declare in the name of Jesus may the Lord bless you let tonight be full of encounters for you some of you it is this night your destiny helpers will call you who have forgotten about you some of you is this night the lord will give you encounters that will bring explanations to your life some of you is this night you will receive impartations that will empower you for new dimensions and new levels in the name of jesus i release the ministry of the spirit over your life i declare you blessed in Jesus' name, that I have tied people Amen. down. I will not let them rise, sabotaging their liberty in the spirit. I pray that as they take this, let an end come to it now. All the ordinances of the fathers, in the name of Jesus, this is the blood that speaketh better things. We have been redeemed by the blood. We take this with understanding that these now is no longer an earthly substance that this is a representation of the blood of jesus and the bread which is jesus himself and i decree and declare in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit that we take this with understanding and let it begin to produce great miracles in our lives in jesus name i pray now i'll give you five minutes please just open gently when you take it just begin to pray you don't have to throw it please be patient ushers as soon as they take it just begin to pass the bucket so that they can put it and then you begin to blast in tongues in jesus name
Begin to pray. Something is happening here now. Begin to pray. Something is happening right now. Just help those under the anointing. My God, something is happening here. An end is coming right now. Atmosphere shift now. Chains be broken. Break now. Holy Spirit. Heaven open. I want you to shout this loud and clear. Just have those under the anointing. Say, Father, I decree and declare that every legal access Satan has over my life, over my destiny, I invoke the blood and I declare right now causes yokes activities of ancestry be broken forever lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance someone is praying bring to an end don't fear the devil you have authority redeemed by the blood Shabakatos kata branta kaparu kapa e prakatos katila katos you have no legal hold over my life you have no legal hold the blood speaks the blood speaks the blood speaks you have no legal hold over my life the blood speaks be patient we're almost done but pray this is a matter of your destiny hallelujah say in the name of jesus covenants of delay covenants of untimely death ah, i tell you i sense i sense such such a strong anointing we are still praying covenants of retrogression covenants of failure by the blood of jesus help them i declare be broken now open your mouth and pray be broken ordinances of fathers tying down the destinies of god's people be broken be broken redeemed by the blood redeemed by the blood redeemed by the blood the ransom has been paid a visa has been made the father is satisfied shabakata bakatos koto brenda kate ekra kata barakatos koto brenda kate lakatosia embra kata bakatos koto brenda kate lakate bariakata shane kate shabakatos koto brenda kate balakata hallelujah shout it very loud and clear 
Say seasons of weeping. Seasons of shame. Seasons of embarrassment. Seasons of retrogression. By the power of the blood. Come to an end in my life. Now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Seasons of shame. Reproach. Embarrassment. Come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Come to an end. Come to an end. Kalekata prakatos koto prakatashiata. Come to an end. Hallelujah. Now hear me. You are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration. Say in the name of Jesus. Everything that has left me. That should not have left. By the blood. By the name, by the word, I call you back to my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Opportunities by the Spirit of God. Relationships by the Spirit of God. Resources by the Spirit of God. Mantles by the Spirit of God. Restoration 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 by the Spirit of God. Restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. I know that I've stretched you a bit, but I beseech you by the message of God. Please be patient and let's just finish this. Say after me, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of the waster. Listen, listen, your confessions matter. There is the spirit of a waster. It can waste life's resources. Say again, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of a waster, the spirit of untimely death, the spirit of infirmity I challenge you by the blood you have no hold over my life go 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 lift your voice and pray go untimely death the waster coming as ill health the waster coming as disappointment in business the waster the Lord rebuke you The spirit of the waster. You are cursed by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. My place in life and destiny that has been hijacked by witchcraft and powers in the heavens i decree and declare clear away for me lift your voice and pray my place in life my space in destiny i take my place in life i take my place in destiny never will it be said adam where are you i take my place Aleta kaparu katesh, nakapranda kaparekesh, e protos koto prendi gebalia, kapra kapara koto skoto prende gatebale gatia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Patterns and circles of negative occurrences 
by the blood of Jesus come to an end now open your mouth and pray patterns it happened to your father it happened to your mother it happened to your elder brother now it's happening to you patterns caused it by the God of heaven negative cycles every two two years someone must die every six six months someone must die caused it by the God of heaven patterns they don't stay in marriage patterns they don't give birth to children caused it by the God of heaven Pray, please pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I sanctify by the blood of Jesus and the word of God. I sanctify my dreams. I sanctify my visions. I sanctify my prophetic experiences. No more manipulations. No more wrong revelations. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, declare sanctification. The devil will not manipulate your dreams to confuse you. The devil will not manipulate you with visions, lying visions. Please pray a few more minutes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Huh. This prayer you are about to pray, something will happen to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit taking advantage of my dreams and appearing as a male or a female or animals to molest me and manipulate me by the blood of the eternal covenant. I curse you now. Open your mouth and pray. Please pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every spirit coming as a man that sleeps with you, coming as a woman that sleeps with you, coming as animals, all kinds of demonic things, curse them by the God of heaven. hallelujah hallelujah praise God now you have prayed let me do the praying for you I want you to be sensitive we have a few minutes there is a heavy anointing here listen I'm going to as I mentioned that case the moment you are part of it the fire of God is coming upon you and bringing it to an end are we together now we have just about two three minutes when that happens i want you to bring the people out very quickly ushers we have to work together right now i declare anyone here who is a victim of causes right now at the count of three any cause sitting on your head apparatus sitting on your destiny causes that bring delay causes that bring failure causes at the count of three as you shout jesus let that fire come bring them out right now one two three shout jesus Causes, be broken now Causes, please help them whether you are an usher or not help them for sake of time Causes, every cost powered by an altar standing to destroy you i curse you by the god of heaven Very quickly, bring them out. Curses. I'm arresting curses. Negative pronouncements. Hallelujah. Please quickly bring them. Now all of you listen to me, I'm praying. Right now, every altar connected to anyone apakanata sanika paratusia. Every altar connected to anyone's foundation 
that is powering negative patterns right now i'm telling you i'm seeing fire may that fire engulf that pattern now altars catch fire oh patash koteka bring them out altars catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire by the power of the holy ghost Anatas katika tepa rakatos, epre katos kotos neke tepa lakatos yata, empre katika tia. I want to pray. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit, you are living your life, but you know this is another man's script. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare in the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. Anybody who gave you anything or collected anything from you, knowingly or unknowingly, and that became the token of witchcraft, every shrine where that thing is right now i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic i set it on fire now tokens and instruments of connection i set it on apakatoskata i set it on fire now i set it on fire now help that woman please i set it on fire now listen listen to me we're wrapping up a kiss was meant to be a system to show love and intimacy but judas used the same kiss as a sign for betrayal a handshake that is supposed to be a system of joy can be a sign to the enemy this is the one to destroy i'm praying again whatever left you knowingly or unknowingly whatever you receive knowingly or unknowingly that is being used as a token of manipulation i pray for you koinonia by the god who called me be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now hear me everyone who is in fraternity with darkness and because they are alive they sat on altars powering satan and not allowing people to move there are whole villages and territories they renew their life with young people and they remain there i call upon the god of heaven may the ground open and swallow them this moment help them please help them help them may the ground open up May the ground open and swallow them now. Bring them out, please. May the ground open and swallow them now. The spirit of poverty, of lack and hardship, all of you are graduates but no job everybody with masters phd yet nothing to write home about father let fire right now from heaven every altar that powers poverty and lack in the name of jesus be destroyed now be destroyed now hear me if there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die listen when you read the book of esther you will see that by divination a date was already put to attack the jews i pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and satan 
that on so 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 day you will die of accident on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing i i pray for you now may death leave you alone we're wrapping up hear me if you are a firstborn here in the name of jesus i pray for you the cause that tries to follow firstborns the ones who open the womb they are the ones who become the the chief victims i pray for you here by the power that raised christ from the dead if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward i command it right now at the count of three may fire come upon that altar one two three take that fire now take that fire now the cause of firstborns i curse you right now the cause of firstborns i capatas cote bata i curse you right now hear me if you are the first to rise beyond a certain level in your family you are the first to be lifted to that level i pray for you in the name of jesus the spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were in jesus name may that altar be destroyed now help them please may that altar be destroyed now two more prayers and we're done my goodness fire is burning in this place everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit whether it's your favor your job your lifting your children your relationships in the name of jesus this moment by the power of the name the blood and the word i declare a release now i announce a prophetic jubilee now in the name of jesus christ final prayer please place your hand on your head prophetically your head is a sign of your glory you'll be surprised at what will happen to you now I want to pray for you father you instructed that we do this I stand by the priestly the apostolic and the prophetic mantle and I pray over your people the head of a man is a symbol of his glory I want to pray for you something will happen to you now every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of Samson every spirit in the similitude of Delilah that has come to make that your glory is cut short financial Delilah's ministerial Delilah's Maria Delilah's in the name of Jesus at the count of three the same way the hair of Samson grew back in the realm of the spirit I pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of God rest on it now rest on it now I make this declaration by prophecy therefore that in the name of Jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant as you are laying your hands on your head in the name of Jesus you will never go down again you will never go down again in the name of Jesus I made up my mind that I will open up the truth to God's people to really understand with balance and with understanding don't just say I'm born again and everything is over it may not be very accurate you need 
to be instructed and to have superior spiritual understanding for now you understand what deliverance is that it has to do with establishing and manifesting your victory not fighting for it hallelujah you have won the victory hallelujah hallelujah you have won it all for me hallelujah hallelujah you have won the victory points prayer point number one i taught you the three levels of demonic influences you are going to pray and immune yourself by knowledge and declare that in the name of jesus the son of the living god for you and for your loved ones whether it is witchcraft through deception whether it is manipulation and control of your mental faculties whether it's possession of your unsaved loved ones declare in the name of jesus that you are free completely from this open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray Open your mouth and begin to pray. Shape katos koto para kata, embreke te para kosh kati lakata ba, ebra katos kani parusiata. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. Shapran de ke pakatos kalika pras, e prote ke parakatos seketele makata. Hallelujah. We are still praying. Second Corinthians chapter ten. Second Corinthians chapter ten. Please give us verse five. Second Corinthians ten, and let's start from verse four. Second Corinthians ten four. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds you know what a stronghold is a stronghold is a negative mindset that has been fortified by the presence of demon spirits to ensure that the victim remains in that thought pattern they are called strongholds when a wrong mindset now has the fortification of demon spirits it is that state that makes the individual the word of god of non-effect casting down imaginations from the word imagery and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of god and bringing into captivity help me every thought this is the realm of warfare your mind even though satan knows that you have the victory he knows that your mind is part of the participatory systems that will make victory manifest so he will hijack your thinking are you ready to pray lay your hands on your head representing your mind and i want you to begin to prophesy i have a sound mind in the name of jesus a mindset that is word based word compliant word based word compliant someone is praying lay your hands on your head prophetically over your children
someone is praying shake it take up a cottage cote pregata shkati prende kete regeta shkiyama shabra keto skadia every wrong thinking every wrong teaching every wrong understanding cultural demonic sociological that is authorizing darkness to take advantage of me in the name of jesus i cast down every imagination Sustain faulty thinking patterns that came from culture, that came from your failure, that came from your association, that came from the poor mentorship platforms that has built an inaccurate understanding about God. Every high thing must come down, every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome every high thing must come down. Every strong goes down in the road. You wear the thing that you overcome. Prayer point number two. This is the last prayer point now. Please let me pray for you and beseech you don't miss next week's service next week's service is another miracle service i know we have a monthly miracle service but that is when i'm going to be ministering i will be taking out time we are going to be breaking yokes and curses and all kinds of demonic things and i will not only be praying for you i will be teaching you that you will go back home and it will be like wildfire that all this nonsense that has trapped people down it must give way once and for all hallelujah now listen to me you're going to engage the blood just one last prayer can i tell you this i told you when satan is afflicting an individual on legal basis you don't cast him you engage the blood i'll be teaching you more about the blood next week but you see the blood is the system that vetoes every legal operation of satan because the blood is payment too are we together satan when we some of you who are into the financials banking and the rest they call banks systems of settlement is that true if i buy something and i buy whatever it is when you pay me you have settled me it's a system of appeasal transactions are simply systems of appeasals that's what happens in the realm of the spirit the blood of abel was crying because there was injustice it was crying for appeasal and every time satan stands to accuse you before god accuse your family before god if the blood does not speak he is right so what you do in that state is to plead the blood the moment you plead the blood the scene of judgment changes is no longer you it will be jesus standing there i want you to understand the revelation behind the blood it does not matter whether some of you here are legal people the moment you bring the blood the accused no longer becomes the accused the accused becomes jesus only one question will be asked of satan who sinned that jesus was crucified it was not him if a sinless man can become guilty then a guilty man can be declared righteous based on that the judge of all the ages will say you are not guilty once and for all are you ready to plead the blood
remember what i taught you now that in pleading the blood you no longer become the accused your family no longer becomes the accused jesus stands in your stead the advocate now i want you to plead the blood over your wife your husband listen your children your business your family mention them by name if you can every legal access that is giving satan access over my life by the blood of jesus i declare that voice is silence lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray the advocate stands in your stead the advocate speaks in your stead the advocate he does not fail the judge of all the earth if the sinless one can become the guilty one then the guilty one can be declared not guilty go ahead and let the blood speak even for the sins of the fathers even for the sins of territories even for the sins of nations by the blood we call for the advocacy of jesus over the matters of life and destiny over the matters of altars and covenants over the matters of decrees and agreements blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross hallelujah hallelujah please shout this after me say in the name of jesus i decree and i declare that by the blood of jesus the blood of the eternal covenant every legal access that satan has over my life over my family over my children over my territory by the blood of jesus i declare that access broken now i decree and i declare that i am a partaker of the righteousness of jesus christ therefore i pass a decree as one anointed of god satan take your hands of my life of my job of my destiny of my health i decree it is a new season i decree only the word of the lord comes to pass in my life your strategies of deception over me will not work again i decree that i have spiritual enlightenment i am a child of god you have no power over me the blood speaks against you it speaks for me but it speaks against you in jesus name i pray give jesus a can i tell you this do not cry about all the stories of pain in your life now god is interpreting the writings on the wall the disappointment the shame he fought your marriage he fought your children you lost your child you lost everything and you are wondering to what end is this now i bring you the word of the lord he wants dominion and he wants transgenerational allegiance if you will fall down and worship me that business i will give it to you can i tell you this look up please look up please unfortunately painfully unfortunately there are people today who could not stand because they do not know these truths and they do not have the weapons of victory they said satan i can't go through this I will go back to you and they had that agreement they are some of the celebrities we celebrate around the world today they know what they did you don't know it but they know that is why in spite of their fame there is no joy
they already know their doom is defined that's why the money does not prosper them that's why in the you see how miserable respectfully speaking some of their lives become in the midst of all the glamour because they know that there is a covenant please hear me some of you right now satan is about to tempt you and he's using financial issues he's using marital issues he's using health issues and they have called you from the village come back remember what we said we will bath you near the river and that's it just bathing no it's not about the water a river does not hurt people there is an allegiance please hear me let me encourage someone as we pray for the sake of those depending on you don't give up don't give up some of you are crying listen to me i'm very serious for the sake of your family members if you give up who else will help them are you not seeing their state that's why god sent you to koinonia here for those of you following that's why he said a reed out of fire only a shoe you reign forever to your kingdom there'll be no end only a shoe will reign forever please look at me what if rain had bonke gave up what if tl osborne gave up what if billy graham gave up seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses can i tell you this please look at me brothers and sisters this is a word from the lord this is not just a deliverance series you need to go back home and listen to this thing again especially this part what is satan really looking for you are wrong if you think it's your marriage you are wrong if you think it's your health what is it about the cancer and the fibroid and whatever the genotype issue no none of those things there is something he's looking for please look up we're wrapping up please look up in our nation here and many parts of africa when kidnappers or some of these evil people are looking for people what they do is they try to look for somebody or something dear to you is that true they catch your child or they catch whoever and then sometimes they will now make you to hear the voice of your child and when your child that you gave birth to says daddy please don't leave me like this you can give up that business and say what is business if my child is in the hand of someone and all of a sudden you bring your everything so what satan did was he studied everything dear to you he found out your assignment is dear to you your family is dear to you your business is dear to you and he fashioned an attack hear me now that it seems like he's collected the business he's strangling the business like the voice of that child and making you hear it daddy will you leave this vision like this daddy is this how this family will be without a child and before you know it they say there is somebody it's not exactly evil but we'll go to the village he said we should bring a chicken we should bring one granite oil we should bring palm oil we should bring a knife and bring some kinds of things some of you god brought this message to help you because you're on your way going there now be careful can i tell you this desperation is satan's moment the moment satan finds a desperate individual here he comes i spoke to you 10 years ago you didn't listen 10 years later are you willing but only a shoe will reign forever to your kingdom two prayer points prayer point number one please pray it from the depth of your heart shout this loud after me everybody 
Say, Father. Father. One more time. Say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus. I come by the blood of the Lamb. And I decree and declare. That no weapon. Fashioned against me. Fashioned against my destiny. Shall prosper. Lift your voice and begin to pray. No weapon. No weapon against my health. No weapon against the work of the Lord committed to me. No weapon. Someone pray. No weapon against my children. No weapon. Are you praying? against my job my career my spiritual life shadakata pranta kaskota balakatosh shakete katoko to pakata kata pakata prakata embreketos kete lakatosh pray ke prakatos kote lekata every spirit around your life is on assignment the spirit of death is on assignment the spirit of infirmity is on assignment the spirit of failure is on assignment they don't come on their own they are sent by an adversary hallelujah please look up I know we've not begun to discuss deliverance proper but let me use one scripture and we pray now thanks be to God which always causes us to triumph thanks be to God can I tell you this believe me when I tell you that he who the son sets free is free indeed amplified says is really and unquestionably free free from causes free from yokes bondages of darkness are you ready to pray say father by the blood of jesus the blood of the eternal covenant that speaks better things than the blood of abel i dissociate myself from ancestry i dissociate myself from covenants I dissociate myself from activities of bloodline and inheritance I declare that I have been called out of every tribe out of every tongue out of every nation I am seated with Christ lift your voice and begin to pray resist the devil and he will flee resist him and they overcame them by the blood of the lamb and the words of their testimony pray oh hallelujah worthy is the lamb to receive honor and glory victory in jesus christ victory by the blood victory over causes victory over altars victory over yokes victory over activities of ancestry victory Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb that was Worthy, worthy, so 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I wept for no man was worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll. And the elder tapped me and said, Weep not. The lion of the tribe of Judah, even the root of Jesse, is worthy. And I looked upon the throne and I saw as it were a lamb that had been slain having seven horns and seven eyes which were the seven spirits of God my background does not have to be a disadvantage over me because my grandfather was a herbalist my grandmother was a herbalist I don't have to suffer the consequences of yesterday there is a bailout system for me because upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession give Jesus a big hand clap dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salas kade bash kana kata branda kate katos. Kate branda kata pakotos koto breka teke nekata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.